Hey, big babies. Lizzie. Nigel. Big girl. You want to see some cool big girl? Huh? Yeah? How about you, Nigel? Yeah? You guys want to see something cool? Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Perfect. Welcome guys to my Alpine Racing TRX by Track Racer review. All right guys, let's start with packages. Um got like four boxes, two from UPS and two from FedEx. Everything arrived in like 4 days, but then again, I'm like 20 minutes away from their warehouse. I live in Dallas, so um everything arrived really well packaged. Uh, there was no damage to any of the parts. There was nothing missing either. Not even a, a, a stripped screw. So I'm very satisfied. The boxes did come out, have a little bit of damage, but hey, you know, that's, that's what they're for. So, but very happy with how this arrived. Nothing missing and uh, very well packaged. So can't complain there. <laughs> Hey, what's up, Boosted Media? <laughs> All right, so the build and build quality. So Track Racer got together with the uh, F1 Alpine Racing team uh, to create this amazing sim rig. Uh, there's a black and a blue one. Obviously, go for the blue one. <laughs> um, as for the build time, it only took me about, I'd say three to four hours. It really wasn't that hard. I honestly gave it one good look and was able to put it together without instructions. Um, I did use the instructions to, to make the wheel base though. That part was a little tricky, so, but it really wasn't all that hard entirely. So not too bad. All right, guys, next up is the chair. Uh, as you guys can see, it is diamond stitched and it's got Velcro underneath it so you can take it off. Uh, it is a fiberglass bucket seat and it's very, very comfortable. It It's suitable for lots of different body types. And uh, according to their website, it's one of the very first hybrid mounting seats. I guess that's for the F1 and GT uh, positions. All right, seat and pedal adjustments. Not much to say here, uh, as I'm gonna show you exactly what to do. But what I do want to advise is be careful whenever you over tighten those knobs. Yes, this has a lot of adjustability, but if you tighten those things very, very strong, you could, you know, eat the thread or you could shave it down if you know what I mean. It's It's got like these nipples on there so that it fits into those slots, right? 
and whenever you tighten it but if you don't if you're not careful how you're doing it you could eat up at that so be careful with that As you guys can see there for the adjustments that only took me like maybe five minutes it really wasn't that hard and it's very easy to do so and quick so that's a major selling point And for the wheelbase adjustment, so as you can see, I'm pointing out to four different knobs you got to unscrew. I'll be honest, this is the part that I'm not a big fan of. I mean, it works, don't get me wrong. It's just very fiddly, as uh, you're about to tell. <laughs> don't get me wrong, though, it works, so, but very fiddly. Wheelbase flex eight newton meters and 12 uh, as you're about to see it's very sturdy for both so i've got no complaints um another thing i forgot was you can pull the base forward and back you know further adjustments shifter mount flex uh, again, to me, this was very sturdy. However, I'm not that aggressive with it. So I'm kind of gentle with it. However, if you're playing a game like WRC, then I can maybe see an issue in the future. Um, just don't be aggressive with it. Like what I'm about to show you now and you should be good. So yeah, definitely, definitely don't do that. So. Pedal Flex GT. Obviously, in this position, you're going to get the least flex. Um, but again, for me, it, it was sturdy. I didn't have an issue. Can't really see much flex there. And then Pedal Flex F1. This is where you get the most flex, but when you're racing, I really don't feel it. So, is it an issue? Not really. So <laughs> I promise I'm not trying to kiss ass. I just, I'm being for real. It's not an issue whenever you're racing. I own monitor mount. So I just went with my own cause I didn't want it. Uh, I didn't want the monitor to move. You can get theirs, but it mounts to the rig and it's going to shake. So I wanted no shake. However, in the future, I will go back. They got a more nice accessory, so. All right, guys. Uh, all right, what's up, guys? Um, so I'm in the rig. Uh, let's do a little test run. And... Uh, I'll give you some feedback as best as I can while I'm driving because uh, we know that turned out well last time. Okay.
my guys right behind me. We're going too slow. Hold. Yeah, I can feel every single bump on the road. Oh. Like, the wheel is yanking me left and right. Uh, you know what I mean. I definitely felt that. We definitely, I definitely caught some air. Damn! Better not hit me. That curve and lost control. There it is, guys. So, impressions. Um, the rig feels amazing. Uh, obviously, at 12 newton meters, before I only had it at 6, 12, I can feel not just the force feedback, but I can also feel the road. I can feel the bumps. I can feel any potholes. I can feel any. Like if the floor isn't level, I can feel the tires going like this. Um, there, there, there's a lot of information there. And uh, I feel like when you're at a lower level of force, you only feel the force. You don't really feel, you don't really get all that detail like I was saying before and assumed. Uh, as far as the rig goes, whenever you put it together and you test out the flex, you know, the wheel, the pedals, the shifter, like you can see a little bit of flex there, but honestly, guys, whenever you're playing, you're not going to notice it. It's, it's legit. Like I can move this barely. Like I can, I can, you can see a lot of flex just by barely moving this, but I'm talking about the wheel, the wheel base area, honestly. When you're playing you just don't notice it it doesn't affect your driving and i don't notice it but then again i've been sim racing for like three months so i don't know a whole lot but it's not enough to make you not enjoy your experience so it's definitely worth it the only other thing or con i guess you could say uh, price and adding more uh, accessories to this cockpit. I can understand why people would want a traditional 80-20 rig so that you can add more stuff. But honestly, that's not going to stop me. I'll figure out a way and I'll make it look as bad, more badass than the other rigs. Um, surely 80-20 will be much easier to do and you can quickly figure it out. But this is, I'll figure out a way. Um, and then the price, <laughs> I mean, a thousand dollars, that's without the chair or the shifter or a monitor mount if you wanted one. Um, but it's definitely worth it for what you're getting. The adjustability, the look, um, it just works. It's, it works and it looks amazing. Like you can't go wrong um track racer did not send this out to me for free or anything like that i bought this myself and i waited for black friday so 
if you want to get your hands on this, uh, if you could use my affiliate link, that'd be very awesome of you. It's literally no extra cost. It's just, it gives me a little bit, a little something, something just, just because you clicked on the link and bought something. But uh, if you do decide to get your hands on this, I would say do it now. Why not? I mean, if they have another 15% off on Christmas, cool. I doubt it though. <laughs> like, it's now. If you want it, get it now. So, um, but yeah, apart from that, I'm definitely enjoying this. It's definitely worth it to me. Uh, this is definitely one of those purchases where you buy once and you never ever have to buy another rig again. I'm, I'm never buying another rig again. This is it. This is it for me. So I love this thing and yeah. Uh, apart from that guys, thank you guys for watching. If you've made it all this way, I really appreciate that. Uh, how about, let me give you a code, uh, code gray fox if you made it to the end comment code gray fox that way i know you watch the whole video <laughs> and um yeah thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys on the next video and uh i'll start uploading some more uh some racing content as well as my typical walkthroughs so see you guys on the next one bye